All right, everyone, I am in rural Texas. Uh, here's a map real quick. The first town we're gonna to visit today is called Wortham. But would you look at this? Cat sighting. Hey, fella. Yeah, we're looking at you, man. Anyway, I am heading into downtown Wortham. In 1930, there were 1,400 people here. Today, there are about 1,000. So, what's that? 70, 80, a little over 90 years. The town has held on pretty well, population. A little bit. A little bit of loss. You can see the downtown is very quiet. It is uh, Sunday, November 5th. A little after nine in the morning, so it's pretty quiet right now. Foggy. This is the third day in a row it's been foggy here in Texas. Unusual weather for here. Anyway, some of the numbers of the town. Median age is 40. There's the post office. So it's a little bit older town, I guess. I don't know, US is, for the US it's 38. 64% of the town is female. 36% male. So that's an interesting number. Six and a half women to three and a half men. 51% of the town is white. 26% is Hispanic, 17% is black, 6% mixed. So it's a little bit of a diverse town, isn't it? Now, the median household income in this town is $41,000 a year. That's $790 a week. There are three people per household here. Uh, poverty rate here is 28%. So that is pretty high. There's City Hall. A lot of the uh, downtown This setting empty and in pretty bad condition, though. Children 17 and under, it's pretty bad. 57%. That's really high. That being said, cost of living here is pretty low. But we'll see what the neighborhoods look like. For folks 65 and older, it's only 6%. That's actually real low. I'm guessing the, that is setting empty. Crime, a little bit high here. 39 incidents per 1,000 people. Now I've already told you there are right at 1,000 people in this town, so yes, there were 39 crimes here. How did it break down? One violent crime, and that was an assault. There were 38 property crimes, 30 burglaries, seven thefts, and uh, one car was stolen. Now that is a lot of stuff. And there's another cat. Check it out. Two cats. I'm having a good cat day. Oh, uh, wow, look at these roads. Woo. They have not been worked on in a long time. 
Huge potholes. Wow. Now as we drive through the neighborhoods, here is the median home value for the town. $85,000. Yeah, this one is, that's abandoned as well. You can see some pretty potentially amazing houses here. Here's one. I don't think anybody lives there, but, well, maybe they do. It's kind of a beautiful house, it just needs a little work. All right, well, let's head to the next town. Everyone, I am entering the town of Tewakana. Now in 1920, there were over 600 people here. Today there are about 280. Median age is 54, 54 years old. So this town is older, the US is 38. 61% of this town is male, 39% female. 79% uh, of the town is white, 16% of the town is black, 1% Hispanic, last 4% mixed. Median household income is $51,000. $300 a year. That's $990 a week. Not bad for a little town like this. There are two people per household. So that's uh, two people living on that income. Looks like I'm in downtown now. Looks like this is it for downtown. Hmm, I thought there was a little bit more than this. Yeah, nothing going on here, that's for sure. Anyway, uh, poverty, 17 and under, 66%. Uh, that is, um, that's really high. For folks 65 and older, it's 23%. That is a very small house, isn't it? I mean, that's like two rooms. Huh. I wonder what, or how much a house like that would cost. What do you guys think? I mean, uh, that house is smaller <laughs> than the hotel room we're staying in. That is something. Here's another house, very similar to that other one. See it through the trees there. There it is. Really small house. They got something interesting right here, just outside of the downtown. It's almost like it's a bit of a museum. saving this for posterity anyway in history the structure and the tractor it's a good idea all right well there's not much more left of this town so um, yeah I'm going to uh, head on out of here to the next town. I 
I am entering the town of Coolidge. Here's downtown Coolidge right now. Let's see, in 2010, there were almost a thousand people here. Today, there are 778. Yeah, this downtown has been vacant for a long time. Um, let's see, median age is 27. That is young, this is a young town. 56% of the town is male. 44% female. So I turn off into residential. And immediately it's dirt roads. I guess they don't have paved roads in the neighborhoods. Doesn't look like it, does it? Sixty-four percent of this town is Hispanic. Twenty-four percent white. Ten percent black and the last two percent mixed. Median household income is forty-two thousand six hundred. That's eight hundred and twenty dollars a week. That's a big house, isn't it? Needs some work. But there's lots of potential there. Yeah, $820 a week, and there are three people per household in this town. And I'm definitely seeing some abandoned homes here. This one's been sitting empty for a long time. All the glass is broken out. Doesn't have a foundation, it's just on wood sticks or whatever you call them, but uh, that looks like that could fall in at any time, doesn't it? Wow. Poverty is pretty low in this town. 14% overall. For children, 17 and under, it is 16%. That is much lower than the last two towns. Uh, 65 and older, it's 5%. Yeah, so poverty is very low in this town. Yeah, we've got uh, a trio of dogs just hanging out in the road. What's up, guys? You gonna let me pass? I don't think they're gonna let me pass. I guess I'll go around them. I'm gonna go real slow because I don't want to uh, <laughs> run over them. But they're dogs. Dogs know how to get out of the way. Uh, crime is pretty high here, though. 42 incidents per 1,000 people versus the U.S. average of 23. So crime here is about twice higher than in the U.S. as a whole. That's been sitting empty for a long time, hasn't it? Mostly property crime, though. 35 of those 42 are property crime. The other seven are violent. There was a cat. Oh, there's a couple cats there. You guys see them? Two more cats. They love their cats in this part of uh, Texas, don't they? Interesting. I don't know what to make of this town. There's some pretty good numbers and some that aren't. And I just saw a rooster cross the road. Did you guys see that? I don't know if uh, you could see it. Here he is right here. He just jumped on this air conditioning unit. There he is. Can you see him? Isn't that cool? heading this way. Um, so it's interesting 
the numbers of this town and of course you know the streets aren't paved and there are loose dogs everywhere there's a couple more a couple dogs just trotting in the street here Back on on uh, dirt roads. Oh, this is an interesting place. Did I tell you median home value yet? I don't think so. Fifty-five thousand. So that is very much lower in this town. I guess that was once a house. Hmm, not sure. Uh, look here. You can see the Spanish influence there, right? Well, okay. Uh I'm back in downtown. I'm going to head to the next town. Let's get another quick look here. But yeah, this... There's been nothing happening here for a long time. Okay, off we go. All right guys, I'm driving up to a cowboy church. I had never heard of these till I moved to Texas, but yeah. That is a cowboy church, and they've got a guy on horseback waving everybody in. Yeah, cowboy church, isn't that something? And I've been to them, it's pretty cool. It's church, but with a distinct cowboy theme to them. Uh, if you're ever able to go to one before you die, you should because it's pretty unique. I am entering the town of Hubbard. In 1920, Hubbard had over 2,000 people, almost 2,100 people. Today, there are a little over 1,400. The median age of the town is 37. That's about the same as the U.S. The U.S. is 38. 52% of the town is female. 48% uh, is male. I'm heading into downtown now. 70% of this town is white. 18% Hispanic. 9% black. 3% mixed. I drove through here earlier. This is kind of a quaint downtown. Definitely in a lot better shape than the other ones that we have seen so far on this trip. I mean, there's some empty buildings here on this side, but um, you know, they've got some shops on this side. A general store. Now the median household income in this town is 32,700 a year. 
that's $630 a week. Three people per household. Now poverty in this town, it's not too bad, 21% overall. Children 17 and under, it is 29%. Folks 65 and older, it is 15%. There are some lovely old homes here. Look at that, look at that huge porch. That is quite a house. Well, I'm looking at the homes. Here's the median home value of the town, 89,000. Now that house, that's gonna cost you a lot more than 89,000. Anywhere else in the US, that's for sure. Not sure what it would cost here. Needs a little work, but yeah, that's an old beautiful home. Yeah, there's quite a few. This one over here. That's a pretty house here. Yeah, look at that one there. Amazing old architecture here. But I had to take a look at this one. That is some kind of house. And that is a lot of stuff. I think it's Halloween decorations though. It's early November, they don't have their Halloween decorations down. It looks like they had quite a haunted house going there. That's a beautiful house though. Now this is... This is a lovely town. Another beautiful house right here. How about that? And everywhere you go here. Beautiful homes. Look at all these. Nice. Now check out this house. It is for sale. I'm on 7th Street, so this is 107 7th Street. So we should have someone check that out, see how much that is. How much do they want for that? That is an unusual looking home for sure, isn't it? 107th, 7th Street. Yeah. Somebody find out how much they want for that house. I'd be curious. I'm sure everybody would be. Let's see, the number I haven't given you yet is crime. It's low here. 13 incidents per 1,000 people. U.S. is 23, so, man, almost half lower. Is that the way to say it? Or maybe I should say 50% lower, almost, not quite. It's a pretty town, isn't it? Well, the town has a little grocery store. Brookshire Brothers, employee owned grocery store. How about that? Anyway, all right, well, I think we've seen enough here. I've got one more town. I'm trying to keep it moving a little bit because I'm attempting to show you guys five towns in this video. And uh, we don't want the video getting too long, now do we? That one might be abandoned. Yeah, I like these neighborhoods though. 
I got sidetracked, didn't I? All right. That's it. Let's head to the next town. I am entering the town of Malone. Peak population was 1920. There were 500 people here. Today there are a little over 400. So the uh, population's held pretty pretty well. Yeah, this should take me into downtown. Very small downtown, obviously, but there it is. Now this town has some numbers that are kind of interesting. First off, the median age is 21. 21 years old, median age. That, that's really young. Uh, here's the fire department. Malone Volunteer Fire Department. Interesting. 48% of the population are school-aged children. So almost half this town is populated by kids who are still in school. 24% of the town is adults age 20 to 40. So there's the parents. So what, 48, 58, 68, almost 70% of the town is parents with kids. So very young town. I'm gonna turn around here. Take a look at a couple other buildings here. 54% of this town is female. So 46% is male. Now here's the race breakdown. It's 46% Hispanic. 36% white. 10% black. 3% Native American. 5% mixed. It's a pretty diverse town, isn't it? Majority Hispanic, though. Now, here's the median household income. 33800 a year. That is very low. That's $650 a week. That's everybody in the household earning income combined. Meanwhile, there are four people per household. Um, some of that's going to be reflective of the children, obviously. That's pretty low income. I oh, heard a rooster. So, poverty, yeah, it's pretty high. 39% um, overall. Children 17 and under, it's 38%. Folks 65 and older, it is. 23%. Median home value in this town is 84,000. Yeah, there's not a lot here. Yeah, that has been sitting empty for quite a long time. Crime is a little high, 4.1 incidents per 100 people. For the US it's 2.3, so yeah, a little bit higher than nor uh, the US. This is a church. Chatton Chapel, Church of God. Interesting. Bucks the church always nicest building in town trend there, doesn't it? Well, the town has a little motel here. Malone Motor Lodge. 
I'm surprised to see that in a town this small. And there are guests at this motel too. How about that? Oh, look at this. Whiskey River Saloon and Grill. Huh. I'm thinking that there are guest workers here in this town at times. That might explain the saloon and the motel. Welcome to Malone, a small town with a proud German heritage. This has been an interesting little five town tour because all of these towns are very different from each other. Uh, statistics really show that. All right, everyone, I'm going to call it a day here. That's the end of this video. Up next, uh, we are heading into Waco. I'm gonna take a quick look. I'm really interested to see this footage. I got a brand new camera for this video. This is the test run for the new DJI Pocket 3, and I'm shooting full 4K because uh, this camera doesn't overheat like a lot of other cameras do when they're running 4K, you know, for real long takes, because I like to do long takes, as you guys know that. So, like I said, Waco up next. Be looking for that one.